what do I want people to take away from my work? And, and by the way, this isn't a theoretical question. I, I actually think of it in terms of my own children. What, what do I want them to believe about life and in what way might uh, my interests and work contribute to that? And there, there are two things. Um, the first of all, the first thing is that ultimately our way of understanding the world scientifically and theologically, uh, there are challenges, but there's no uh, irreconcilable conflict. And in fact, in many of the most important respects, there's congruence. Specifically, I, I think we're built to flourish uh, in loving others. Um, the scriptures say that um, it's by giving that we receive. And I think a, a, a lot of empirical work uh, on that substantiates that. But, but secondly, uh, and, and that morality and religion play really crucial roles in that. But secondly, that's not the end of the story. Um, we have conflicting biological dispositions. And moral and religious systems can themselves be toxic. So you have this, uh, we're not angels. Um, I, the bottom line is, um, takes me back to this wonderful quote by Blaise Pascal. He says, man is neither angel nor brute. And the unfortunate thing is, and here he expects him to say, if you think you're an animal, you're going to act like it. But he doesn't. He says, he who would play the angel plays the brute. If we don't recognize both the capacities but also the limitations of our biological limitations, uh, we're unlikely to achieve those distinctives um, that are most crucial to our humanity.